So you rock up to a really cool place, you've brought your camera with you, you want to take a picture of a landscape or some really cool spot that you've seen or heard about on Instagram, Pinterest or somewhere else online. And there are tourists everywhere. Now you didn't see that in the picture you saw online. In this video, I'm going to show you how to remove those people from the photo. <laughs> Hey, what's up guys? I'm Carl Edwards and I manage an online travel brand called What Adventures with my wife, where we share our travel and adventure experiences with you. In this video, as promised in the title, I am going to show you how to remove those pesky tourists from the photos. But before we get into it, the problem here is, is we all see these kind of photos floating around online, these pretty gorgeous, nicely edited photos where there is absolutely no one in the shot. It's just isolated. It's just one person or in mine and Sasha's case, it's two people. It's me and her in this photo. No one else is there. If this tourist hotspot is a hotspot, you can almost guarantee that there's going to be a bunch of tourists there. And when you're trying to take a photo, unless you're taking a photo with tourists in it, but nine times out of 10, you're not, you're going to get these tourists in your shot, which you don't always want. And in this video, I'm going to show you the post-production side of it so where you can do a simple technique to remove the people from the shot. So I'm actually going to show you our Instagram account where we've posted a bunch of before and after photos of where we were at certain waterfalls in Bali. And we've had some feedback in, in our comments. People are asking, how is there no people, other people in that photo with you? Because I've been to that location and there are tourists everywhere. It's really busy. So the first one I'm going to show you is this one. This is a secret little waterfall. I can't remember the name of it, but I'll put it in the description below. And as you can see in this photo, there's it's clean. There's no one in the shot. And it's such a beautiful location like this, unless it's a new discovery that you found by yourself, that there are going to be tourists in that shot. So if we go into the actual post, you'll see now that in the background there, there are actually people in the shot. Now this was like this all the time when we were there. So we'll end up with a finished photo like this. Now these are both the same photo, but with this editing technique uh, with the people removed. So now we're going to jump into Lightroom and I'm going to show you exactly how to do that. This here that you can see is the, is the original photo. And you've got the people in the background there like this. Um, so I'm going to open this up in Photoshop. Okay, and the first thing I'm going to do is come over here to the original image and press Command J just to duplicate it because I, I don't want to, if I make any mistake or want to backtrack, I don't want to do it to that original image, just a safety precaution. So with this image here, very, very simple. Let's zoom in on where these tourists are. And my first one that is isolated from anyone else like this one here and I'm going to get the lasso tool and I'm going to draw around the outside of him as close to him as possible so now we've got the marching ants around him and what I'm going to simply do now is press shift control delete and that will come up with this content aware fill click OK and the magic happens watch the person voila he's gone um, press command D just to deactivate those marching ants. And now you see what it's done there is actually it's filled in the background. So it's taken information and data from around the rest of the image and automatically filled in behind. Now, for me, that looks like part of the cave back there. And to anyone that's really not looking for people that's been removed in editing, that just looks like part of the cave. So what you can actually do is just click S for the clone stamp at all, and then press option, hold option down on a Mac, of course, uh, somewhere around here, just to get that area. And then what you can do is you can start blending in that area here even more, just cloning the data that's around the outside of it. And you can continue to just keep fine tuning this, but for the sake of this tutorial, I just wanna show you the technique itself and how simple was that. So that was a simple, easy way, just shift, control and delete to bring up the content aware fill. And this will just delete those 
pesky tourists out of your photo for you and then just tidy it up with a clone stamp a little bit later. I'm now going to go over the rest of these people so you can see that how I'm going to finish off this image. So again, go for the lasso tool. I'm going to draw around the outside this last person here. And it's also good that in this particular photo, the, this person is in water. Um, water is a very easy one that I found to blend in once you've pressed the shift, control, delete and br brought up content aware fill and then return, press enter to get rid of that person. And you'll see, boom, gone. And it's filled in that background for you again. Command D to get rid of the marching ants. It's a little bit blurry there, you can see. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to tweak it with the clone stamp. So let's just take some information from here and just blend it in. You see what I've created there is that exact piece here. Um, now I'm going to move on to this next person. So I'm actually going to go around his reflection in the water this time, just to show you what that does. Sometimes it's hit and miss. Sometimes the, the, the software will do a really good job and sometimes it won't and just mean just go back over it once or twice or use the clone stamp. So shift, control, delete, content OFL, press return, or enter and voila, the magic happens again. Command D. And if you were to zoom out on this image and see the whole image as, as a total, that it looks a little bit adjusted in the background there, but you can't really tell. The untrained eye, you can't really tell, especially if you're using this for Instagram, where it's a small image on Instagram. Anyway, people are looking at it on their smart device. You're not really going to notice that. But for the perfectionists out there, like me, I want to go in and make it the best I possibly can to a certain degree and just clone stamp some more stuff. So I bring the water edge from where it's hitting, where the waterfall is coming down and hitting the water and bringing that over. Press option just to bring a bit of data from over there here and blending that in. And as you can see, it's slowly, slowly coming together. And again, I'll emphasize on the fact that doing this in water really does help you out. So I'm going to quit. I'm going to rush through these remaining people now over here for the sake of showing you the end image. Voila, it's absolute magic, isn't it? You're welcome. So we're now going to jump over to back over to Lightroom um, because we've used a dynamic linking between Photoshop and Lightroom. So whatever you save here in Photoshop will save over in Lightroom as well. So let's head on back over to Lightroom and you'll see that those images have actually changed over here. Those people are completely gone. I'll zoom in and just check. You can't even tell the difference. I mean, now that you know what you're looking for, you can pick apart my work, but for the sake of getting this tutorial done, it looks like there was no one there. And to the untrained eye, you're not going to see that. You can see the difference between the two. Um, and I brought up some of the blues and the colors in that waterfall, just so the point of attention is the waterfall and then Sasha over here, because uh, the original image Sasha was slightly darker. Um, and like I told you with this particular photo, I underexposed it um, on purpose because I wanted to bring out that back and get rid of those people. There is another photo that I want to show you over here where you can see the kind of tourists that will end up in these these hotspots when you go to these locations. Um, and you'll see from this photo, um, I mean, I told Sash, go and get over there in the light, especially ready for when those sunbeams come through. And as you can see, she just went through all of the people and become a bit of a spectacle. You can see these people over here taking the opportunity to photograph Sasha as well. God knows what they're going to do with that photo. But the whole point here is for us to use this so we can share with you guys later on. Um, and the finished image for this one, you can see here where I removed all those people and cropped the photo to a more portrait perspective as opposed to a landscape one which you see here. So we posted this one and it and it looked fantastic and it got a lot of hits, a lot of views. 
Um, I mean, the photo, the location in itself is fantastic. But like I said, you end up in a location like this, you can almost guarantee nine times out of 10, you're gonna get it full of tourists and now you know what to do. Right, so that pretty much concludes this tutorial. I hope you took something from this. I'm gonna quickly show you our Instagram account here now so you can see some of the other images that we've actually got. This was the one that we started out with in the cave. And you see, I, uh, we put a before and after in this, the original photo where you can see people in the shot here, uh, those pesky tourists that you just want to get out of the way. We were there for quite a while just to see if they would move or if it would get empty. Um, and we fast discovered that that was highly unlikely. So I went ahead and just took the photos knowing that I can remove it in post in, in Photoshop later on. And as you see here, the other photo that I wanted to show you is this one. Okay, so you can see on this photo as well that there is nobody in this shot, but now that you know this, you can almost guarantee that there were people in the shot. This is the before. So the after shot enhanced the image, made it more vibrant, and then posted it on Instagram for everyone to see. Now, the other image that I want to finish this video off with um, is if you do a distance or a, a photo from far away into the landscape, it's actually a lot easier to remove people from the shot why? Because one, they're a lot smaller and two, there's a lot of data and information around them like in this case and you'll see on the original shot there's a bunch of people all here. You'll see a bunch of people around us here, 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 even people in the water down here. Now they're tiny, they're little specks, they're a lot easier to get rid of and as you'll see in the final photo that we've done here and they're removed. So keep that in mind, the different types of photos that you're taking, the further away shots will be a lot easier. Take a couple of photos, two or three, so you can use at least one of them with a as a blank slate because tourists do move around. They don't stay in the same spot. So that one place where one of them one of the people were, and if they've moved, then you've got that information that was behind them. So you don't have to remove it. You could mask over, for instance. But the content aware fill is a great technique. It does speed up the workflow, and it does give you so much more possibility when you're taking landscape photos. I don't know. Tell me, what, what are your thoughts? Did you know this already? Is this something new that you've just learned today? If it is, give me a like on this video. It really, really helps and lets me know that uh, you guys like our content. Um, and if you are new here, you can expect a lot more tutorials like this and mine and Sasha's adventure experiences on this channel and our blog, www.whatadventures.com and all the social channels, Instagram, Facebook, and here, of course, on YouTube as well. So consider subscribing and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you.